So what I'm doing is I'm cutting off my venous blood supply in order to gain muscle hypertrophy at a lower intensity. Wow, is that safe? Yeah, let me break it down a little bit more for you. Okay, cool, thanks. You're welcome. When training for muscle hypertrophy or strength gains, most people immediately think of high-intensity training. The problem with this lies with people who are unable or unwilling to train at high intensities to elicit strength and hypertrophic benefits. These people range from the elderly, especially those suffering from sarcopenia, an alternative form of training that can prompt similar benefits without loading at high intensities is blood flow restriction training. This novel method of training requires lifters to cut off venous blood supply of the limbs being trained and exercise at training intensities of 20 to 40 percent of 1RM. ACSM guidelines recommend 70 to 80 percent 1RM for 6 to 12 reps for intermediate lifters and up to 100 percent 1RM for advanced lifters for strength training purposes. They also recommend intermediate lifters training for skeletal muscle hypertrophy to train at 60 to 70 percent of 1RM for 8 to 12 reps. Seeing gains in strength and muscle hypertrophy without having to load at such high intensities is an obvious benefit for those special populations mentioned as well as athletes. Okay, today we're going to be demonstrating a back squat. We already have the weight loaded up at 30% of Christina's one rep max. The bands are already on. On a scale of 1 to 10, they're on a 6 on a level of discomfort, which assures that we're only cutting off venous supply and not arterial, which is huge for this. Um, go ahead and get into it. Okay, step forward. We're making sure our feet are about shoulder width apart. Good posture. She's looking straight ahead. Muscles activating here, go ahead and get into it. Her knees aren't going too far out or in. Mu muscles activated are glutes, quads, and hamstrings. Um, keeping a good abdominal brace. Normally she would do this for about anywhere from 15 to 30 reps, but just for the demo, we're just gonna do a couple, and now we're gonna go ahead and recap. Thanks for all the information. Now I'll give it a shot. Our biggest concerns or questions were if the training methodology was safe and if it was effective. Studies pulled from Lenicky and colleagues were used to set up the perceived discomfort scale as well as safety concerns and proof of effectiveness. Limitations are that blood flow restriction training is not the most practical because the results observed use pressurized cuffs set at a certain pressure by specialists. Blood flow restriction training can be effective and safe if done under the proper supervision. If not, there are possible safety concerns such as cutting off both arterial and venous blood supply, which can cause tissue damage. Research support gains in muscle strength and hypertrophy in a variety of test subjects from athletes to the elderly. Our conclusion is that if you want to try this novel training method, to do so with the correct supervision and at the very least, watching our awesome video. Thank you for your time.